Hi, my money people. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us again for another Freddie Mercury Kiln Unload. Guess what? I got to see Trace today. <laughs> I got to see her. I trip down there and we had lunch and everything for my birthday. We had a bit of a catch up a couple of days late. And I kept it here because look at what she got me. My very own air pen, actual air pen brand. I have wanted one of these forever, but being in Australia again, anything from America is just out of my price range. So I feel very spoiled that Trace spent the money. Very, very, very expensive over here to get this and ship it. So thank you, Trace. It is so worth it and I can't wait to see see what she creates with it i'm so excited well i put a short up opening it and i've already had people comment and say oh we want to see what you make and i'm like well i want to see what i make too so um trace even got us the little adapters that are brushes on the end not just the little hole things so i'm really keen to try with them because we couldn't find anywhere even air pen themselves don't put out a thing showing using them so maybe they're not that good but I might put a video up if I can work out how to use them, seeing as nobody else has. So, if you want to see an air pen amateur video, let me know. <laughs> uh, all right, so Freddie is hot, 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 <laughs> not cold, cold, cold. But being impatient, can't wait till the morning, and I have to work tomorrow. So we're getting into it. Going to need my gloves. It's probably the hottest I've opened it at today. Mr. Bear's joining in again. So we'll see how we go. So we have a perfect five again. So I might, I didn't turn him up this time from last time. So I thought because I've got, oh, this is going to be a really quick unload because I only have about five pieces in here because they're all big. So I had nothing else to fit on the top because they were all big. They couldn't fit together. So I've only got this piece. <gasps> I'm a little bit proud. Oh, my so, God, you should be. <laughs> this is beautiful. So this was following along Colours for Earth. What's her name, Trace? Can you remember? You said it today and I thought, oh, you're good for knowing. I can't remember. Oh, no, I've forgotten now. Well, anyway, uh, she's, she's lovely. Sorry? All of McCoy? Something McCoy? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, she's wonderful. <laughs> And she's really, really, really good teacher. She goes really slow and she explains it really basically. So this is two different patterns of hers. So she gives you the print off as well. It's all free on her Colours for Earth website or on YouTube. But the website, you can print off just the outline. So you can, I just um, copied it, put it on here, transferred it on and then followed and paused and followed and paused and rewinded and paused. Um, the step by step to do the painting so the flower one was two coats because that's what she did and I just copied her but the butterflies I only did one coat but it is obviously thick but very 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 impressed and happy with that oh it's gorgeous yes it is oh. Paul McCoy sorry Paula McCoy I was right Paula thank you uh, so I love that one and I love the blue one. Um, uh, so yeah, she teaches you how to load your brush, what to do with the glazes and everything. And then inside, I didn't do the leaves. I asked Trace whether I should do leaves and stems, but I didn't. Even the background, uh, her background was green, but I wanted blue. Um, she even shows you how to do that. So that's two different blues, a light and a darker blue to get that effect how to do it, how to not lift your brush off, how to keep your brush on and, and pat, pat, pat. Walk it to the left, walk it to the right, if anyone's watched her. <laughs> she says that about a billion times. So she's just great. I'm For me to be able to do that shows how good she is. So I emailed her and sent her a photo and said thank you. Uh, so what was I going to say? Something else. Oh, yes. So the huge thing I learned that I never have known before with the flowers, she did them like a watercolour. So she did 50-50 water. And then you walk to the left, walk to the right with one colour, turn it around, do your other colour, blend them all and everything. But the butterflies being a different video and a different technique wasn't watercolour. She wanted the so uh, solid underglaze. But what she uses instead of water, she mixes in clear glaze. 
into the underglaze, equal parts, water, not water, no water, equal parts, underglaze and clear glaze. So I use Sahara Zinc Free Clear. Of course, she uses all her products, which we can't get in Australia. And the shipping tray said was like $200 or something. So we just can't. Put in a well, I put in an, an order just to see $460 just to get her starter pack of five mini glazes with the shipping yeah yeah because I mean, that was just the shipping that was including the product yeah because the australian dollar we're like half the value of the us dollar so anything that you guys see in us dollars we have to double before we even add shipping on it's crazy so that's why i'm saying with the the pet the what's it called again the air pen how how you know grateful i am that i have it uh, so, yeah, so she mixed in her product and she said she can't guarantee test. Of course, I didn't test. I put it straight on a piece. Yeah, and, that's <laughs> and look, I think I might have done that even with the flowers too. It wasn't water. I think that was a clear as well. Yeah, it was. Clear underglaze. So Zahara Zinc Free Clear Glaze mixed in with the underglaze. And then Zahara Zinc Free all over the top. So I thought, oh, it's going to happen. But it's worked really well. Perfect. Never heard that, but because you're using a glaze instead of water, what she describes it as, it keeps the underglaze open longer. So when you put it on, I did it on bisque, she does it on greenware or bisque either. Because it keeps it underglaze open longer, when you flood it in, you can flood and, and blend them better. They don't just soak straight into your piece. So that's why she does it. And yes, it definitely worked. So I just love 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 that i think i'm gonna to have to keep that now i'm gonna need gloves for sure because the shelves are always the hottest part helps if i put the right glove on the right hand correct hand <laughs> okay right so let's see oh i've got my um oh i'm not here oh wow that's okay so as i said i've got big pieces in here so i have my Bubble custom chip and dip in here again, but it's further down. I thought it was this shelf. So remember, it got that massive big S crack, and I said it's got to be a Guinness World Record S crack, so I'm really scared to see it again. But I did another one, and the, um, so it's a hot five. The six is definitely gone, maybe even half, five and a half, which is great. That's what I'm aiming at. Um, but the, this one, so they were all for this custom. So this one, when I was throwing it, the bowl came off, the little dip bowl. So I thought, oh, I'll slip and score it. So I slipped and scored it, put it through bisque, came out, and it was a detached and moved in bisque. Oh, I don't know. So I said to the girls, which is Trace and Karen, what can I do? Can I bisque fix it? Don't know. So I put bisque fix on it, re-bisked it again, and nah, it just pulled straight off. So I sanded it all. I thought, I'm not trying again. I'll just do it as glazed the same, but sell it as two separate pieces. So how am I going to glaze it? Because it's black clay, and that always does my head in. So, oh, look at how pretty. Oh, I want to get it out. It's pretty. <gasps> Couldn't see that far back. Wow. I was waiting for your reaction. I thought you didn't like it. No, I couldn't see. Oh, that's gorgeous. No cracks on it. Oh, so what did you end up doing? So how beautiful. You know me and pastels, how much I love pastels. So on the back is, you'll never guess, just honey flux. There is no other glaze on the back. Stuff in it. Sorry? got purple and stuff in it which is the black clay i'm assuming where it's a bit thinner coming through and pink from the honey flux so that is just honey flux on black so that's good to know as well because i didn't want it to run off so i didn't put color on back inside i put it back on my wheel with my gif and grip spun it and i didn't like i randomly did it i want them to wanted them to overlap i did blue rutile textured turquoise Smoky Mellow's purple one, not Smoky Mellow, sorry, Lavender Mist and Raspberry Mist. So, oh, that, oh that's Amico and Mako. I could get a better view. <laughs> hey? I said I even had to take my glasses off so I could look at it better. <laughs> Going into her camera. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so that's Mako and Amiko showing off how well they can go together. I was not hopeful for that at all because when I've swelled like that before, it's been very stable and especially on a flat surface, but that's why I let them overlap and I was a little bit more not worried about it. Although it's got this weird chunk out there, but I'm not really worried because it's on the outside. It doesn't hurt food safety, but I haven't even looked at the little one because that caught my eye. What? Knock it off. <laughs> I know mum said she hates when I do that. Oh, she gets all I'm scared. Anxiety goes through the roof every time you balance something on the kill. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to do that to your anxiety. So that one, ill. that's a bit yuck on the outside. It's a bit too thin. Even though I did three coats. But the inside, they've they've run down and together, which I still love. Yeah, that's pretty. So I don't know whether to refire that because it will run off. Definitely will run off. Or whether to just leave it. Not, yeah, no, no, I don't mind the outside. I don't mind it. That's why I'm thinking I might leave it. Yeah, I'd leave so it. So outside of that is better, but it's still got that gradient look. Um, mm -hmm. But this is the interesting thing. That's the slip and score marks, and then that's a bisque fix. <laughs> but I didn't worry too much about it because I thought when it comes out now, I'll stick it on my beautiful wheel with the grinding bat that I keep talking to you about, the diamond core, and I'll just zoom that off nice and nice and pretty, make that more pretty. So what I thought was I'll just sell it like that together, but I'm just not attached. So it was in the middle. So I'll just put them together yeah. like that. Yeah, beautiful. Little set. Little matchy matchy set. Uh, wow. Oh, I hope that doesn't mean that the other one's all cracked and, and ruined. <laughs> so I had to make a play a bit of Jenga in here to make that fit. And I had to put little <laughs> chunks along underneath so that it would fit. Now I'm scared to lift this up. Oh, I've had so many attempts at this. Oh, I can't see any cracks. Okay, everybody hold your breath while I pick it up. Oh. Well, you have a custom chip and dip. Oh, awesome. Yay, look at the bubbles in the little bowl here. Can you see that? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh. Oh, on the side near the bowl. Here? Yeah. Yeah, and on the back of the little bowl. Yeah, that's awesome. oh, again it's a bit dark in here but that always happens because when they pop the glaze um pulls in the bottom so you can't really avoid that but it's still gorge that's what you wanted black clay with white bubbles look at bomb yeah nice oh, yeah gorgeous so i did not use wax this time i just hand painted on the side the clear yay the only thing where, well, where I've attached the bowl, it is cracked a bit, but that's just the attachment. It's not cracked through. I don't know. I think that's okay. I mean, it's it's very well attached, so it's not going anywhere. So, yay. Oh, where can I put that? I'll put it over here. Oh, all right. Well last shot. Yay. Sorry? I said, well done. Oh, finally. So that was a five and a bit as well, hot five. I might put it up there, it's too hot. Oh, I don't, yeah, I hope she's happy with it. I was meant to see her tomorrow, but I'm not now. So I have to make a time, but I'll send her photos and just see if she's happy with it. You hope. Right, last shelf, I cannot remember. Oh, I can remember. <gasps> not even looking while I tell you. Remember the, the um, carved rim, big bowl. Find somewhere to put that. You know the one with the triangles carved out of the rim? Yes. And I did the soft red, hey? Sorry, I said you refired it. Yeah, and I did the soft red with the purple crystal splodges that Karen told me to do and they were too thick and it was okay, but it was a bit ugly. I put pearl white, pearl white all over it. What did I do? Oh, I, the sweet too. Yeah, I didn't write down, but one coat of pearl white was what I wanted to do. And, ah, oh, it looks the same. Oh, oh well, that's a shame. 
Oh, it's run everywhere, of course. But it looks the same. <laughs> it's a bit, bit lighter. Yeah. Um, it, it is definitely lighter. It is, and it's swelled down in the bottom, which is pretty. Yeah. But look at how much it's run. Oh, wow. Well, Hang on. hardly had any drips on the outside. No, not at all. Look all in there. Yeah, wow. And I didn't add any glaze to the outside. Oh, I put, actually, sorry, yes, I did. I put just on the little runs, I put a tiny bit just to lighten them. Um, not not the whole way around, though. So, yeah, I still don't like that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. That's all right. It's, I think it's better, but it's, it's still. Yes, but someone will love it. Yeah, and I love the rim. I've just got to try and get it off there now. That's going to be it's fun. It's not offensive. It's just not yours. Yeah, oh, it's definitely better, and I like that it's swelled in the bottom now. And the last little bit, oh, this is my tester. So, sorry, it's so cold, my nose is running. Um, I actually looked up the weather before coming on because I knew I was going to say at some point how freezing I am. And being an, an Aussie, I'm freezing at 15 degrees Celsius. <laughs> poor guys with your big rung up in your snow and your minus 20s and whatevers and I'm freezing at 15. Anyway, uh, I remember I did that tiny little bowl and I put the marbles in as a tester. Well, because it was a tester, I thought, well, if I put a candle in that, you're not going to see the marble at the bottom. It's a plain white bowl. So, turned up in the mail, the, um, oh, what's it called? The, um, the new Mako Glaze. The quartz, the luster, opal luster. Oh, thank goodness I got that. So it's opal luster. So it's not like a pearl luster. You don't do it at 018. It's an actual glaze meant for cone six. So I thought I'd just stick it on there because I just want to see the colour of it. And ah, oh, it's just brown. Okay. Oh, the little bit that's run on the cookie's pretty. But on there, oh. It's just brown. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. There is no colour whatsoever. And I've actually lost some of the blue, but I didn't really care because it was I was just testing. Now it's just green where the marble was. There was blue there. Oh, that was a shame because of what it's meant to do. And Karen said get it hot. So I put it on the bottom, which is my hottest, but still only five and a half. But look at what it did on the cookie. Look at that. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That's what it's meant to do. So you know what's interesting about that. This is one of my best pieces that I bought. So different clay. I don't know what clay it is because I bought them already bisked. All it says is stoneware, so I know they go to six. But this is my clay, the Keen Six. But... Yeah, so... Oh, but, also to, but also, too, that is, like, bisque wear, whereas that already had glaze on it. So, bowl, sorry. Oh! On it, so maybe... Yeah, did it? Yeah, I think you're right. I think I had clear on it. Clear on it. Yeah, so maybe being over the top of the clear, maybe, as well. So yeah. that will be interesting to hot, hot through my gloves. Uh, doing a bit more testing because that's... Stunning. So I'm really glad I got that little dribble to be able to see. And maybe it's better on a flat surface rather than a vertical surface. Possibly. Oh, lots of testing to happen because that's pretty. Mm. And all my, that just reminded me when you said flat surface, all my Temu um, wax seal stamps that I want to make pendants oh. turned up today. So that oh. could be pretty <laughs> on them. Yeah, if you be beautiful but you might lose your text just like, yeah you might but i could just do some plain ones mm. and um just put that in as as a as a pearly kind of veiny kind of interest yeah just cut out round flat ones and put some of that on just to see what it does even just to test test tiles you know i never do test tiles maybe they will be so that is it are oh, the cones on the bottom which is where that one was yeah, a hot five, six is going. So it was a hot five. Um, so I think maybe it likes a six, but that indicates that it will like a hot five. 
So we'll see. We shall see. We shall play some more. So Kim's favourite um, would be, well, of course. Duh. <laughs> uh, I was just so worried about that when I'd mixed the clear in with the underglaze, but I trusted Paula McCoy. We now know Colours for Earth, she's called. Just brilliant. And she's got heaps of patterns, so you can scroll through and all sorts of pretty things. If you like pretty girly things, lots of flowers and butterflies and all the pretty stuff. So that is it. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Please like and subscribe. Stay money. And sorry. I didn't say anything. Okay, I thought you did. Sorry. Oh, stay money and have a magic day. Bye. <laughs>